हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू स्टडी आई सो टुडे टॉपिक इज रिमूवल ऑफ सुप्रीम कोर्ट जजेस इन दिस पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक आई विल टॉक अबाउट प्रोसीजर रिलेटिंग टू द रिमूवल ऑफ सुप्रीम कोर्ट जजेस आई विल आल्सो टॉक अबाउट द ओपिनियन ऑफ डिफरेंट कमिटीज एंड कमीशन अबाउट द कंडक्ट ऑफ सुप्रीम कोर्ट जजेस दिस वीडियो इज प्रेजेंटेड बाई मी माई नेम इज सौरभ पांडे एंड एम सीनियर यूपीएससी फैकल्टी एट स्टडी आई सो फर्स्ट डिस्कस Uh, about the mains question the possible mains question relating to this topic the question is the procedure of removal of judges of supreme court and high court tries to maintain the balance between independence of judiciary and interference of executive now it is the opinion of many of the constitutional experts that they say that the procedure of removal of judges of supreme court high court is such which take into consideration Uh, take into consideration the independence of judiciary and it limits the interference of executive it means what the judiciary also plays an important role in in this particular procedure of removal of judges okay in the latter part of the video i have discussed this particular perspective uh, you just try to uh, listen it and then try to answer this question so now let's see the prelims question the question is identify the correct statements about the removal of supreme court judge the first is the motion for removal of supreme court judge can be initiated in lok sabha only and second nominated member of lok sabha do not participate in the procedure of removal just see the video and try to answer this question so ssc bank uh, related exam courses upsc uh, courses upsc optional courses defense exam courses state psc courses uh, are uh, are available you can visit studyiq.com or you can call on these numbers to know about the our pen drive courses so let's start so two major entities which are involved in the removal of judges are one is parliament and second is president parliament you have two houses one is upper and lower house that is uh, rajya sabha and lok sabha so these two entities plays an important role in the removal of judges so the constitution provision that is there is article 124 article 124 section 4 which again talk about the removal of supreme court judges the legal provision is judges inquiry act 1968 now the basis for the removal of judges is proved misbehavior and incapacity in our constitution these two terms have not been defined that what conduct what conduct or what decision of supreme court will be considered as proved misbehavior or incapacity it all depends upon the whim and the will of the parliament to take a particular act of a supreme court judge or high court judge as a proved misbehavior or incapacity and depending upon its decision it starts the removal proceeding now let's discuss the procedure relating to the removal now suppose a lok sabha Uh, wants to initiate uh, a motion for the removal of of supreme court or high court judges then uh, then again to bring that motion uh, uh, it require a support of uh, at least 100 lok sabha member okay and suppose the same motion is to be brought in raj sabha then again you require a support of 50 members and uh, they will give the document signed by suppose in lok sabha uh, by the 100 lok sabha members to the speaker and uh, in case of rajya sabha it has to be delivered to the to the chairman of rajya sabha so again after signing the document by the by 100 lok sabha member or rajya sabha uh, 50 rajya sabha member the motion for the removal of supreme court judges can be started in these particular in these houses okay so again in in after the motion has initiated suppose in lok sabha then the investigation uh, will be done and the investigation will be done by a committee appointed by that particular house and this committee will be will consist of supreme court judges and and distinguished jurist so you will have three members in this committee which will conduct the inquiry and the investigation so after after conducting the inquiry and the investigation it will submit it re, its report to the in the respective houses and that respective house will will take into consideration the conclusion of that report and then again it will uh, it will start the pending motion and this motion will be put for vote so after taking into consideration the report of the committee the motion is put for voting so 
for the passage of this motion it is required that the majority of the total membership of the of house means uh, more than 50% of the uh, members should present and out of them two third should support that motion so if if this motion get uh, assent or support of two third of the members then it is declared passed so after after uh, it it is passed in lok sabha then it is further transferred it is further transferred to ras sabha okay now ras sabha also do the same thing means the majority of the total membership of the house out of which two thirds should support so if again the ras sabha also pa pass the motion then it is addressed to the president and president signs an order declaring the just to be removed or it in general we in general parlance we say impeach so again there is a difference between impeachment and removal okay if you talk about article 61 which is regarding the impeachment of president uh, then it it is mentioned that this impeachment of president word is mentioned so impeachment word is only used for the president as per article 61 nowhere nowhere else in the constitution this impeachment word has been has been mentioned for any other dignitaries once we talk about removal of judges which is mentioned in article 124 okay so 124 article talk about only removal of judges and if you see the difference between impeachment and uh, this removal then many of the constitutional experts says that uh, why this uh, why the president removal is called more of a impeachment because uh, because president is removed by passage of a resolution in the parliament okay while while the removal of a judge is more of an executive action because the final authority uh, final authority or uh, which signs uh, on on the on the document which carry the order for the removal of uh, judges is president who is again you can say the head of the indian state so let's see the removal versus appointment so if you talk about appointment then appointment of judges again Uh, uh is made by the president okay so for the appointment of chief justice of india president can take advices of uh, uh, high court judges or supreme court judges but for the appointment of judges other than chief justice of india president has to take advice of a collegium headed by chief justice of india similarly if you talk about removal removal of uh, judges then again the president signs an order order okay uh, which is again come after after the address after the address of a parliament means the motion is passed in uh, in both the houses of the parliament and which is again addressed to the president and then president signs signs and then the press, uh, then the chief justice or or the judges of the supreme court or high court is stand removed now let's see now in you if you talk about the removal proceeding then in removal proceeding again judges have an important role because the investigation is done by a committee which consist of judges and distinguished judiciary so if you talk about executive and judiciary they are they are both are together in the appointment also in the removal also like if you talk about appointment again the president is is again taking the advices advices of chief justice uh, uh chief justice of india so if you talk about the removal also then again the final decision or the signature is of president and uh, in that removal in the procedure of removal of judges uh the the investigation committee which is there uh, is again it consists of uh, judges so judiciary has a role in the removal as well so let's see what can be done justice js verma who, who was the 27th chief justice of india he said that there should be a model code of conduct for judges like you have a model code of conduct for for bureaucrats similarly you should have a model code of conduct for judges uh, justice verma also talk about that corruption is prevalent in judiciary uh, administrative reform commission arc has also talked about for what for the model code of conduct for judges as well so 
अगेन चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ सुप्रीम कोर्ट अर्लियर चीफ चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ सुप्रीम कोर्ट ई एस वेंकट रमैया ही सेड की प्रेजेंटली द जुडिशरी इन इंडिया हैज डिटोरेटेड इन स्टैंडर्ड्स बिकॉज मैनी ऑफ द जजेस दे आर इन्फ्लुएंस्ड दे आर एक्चुअली विलिंग टू बी इन्फ्लुएंस्ड बाय द बाय द पोलिटिकल पार्टीज एंड दे कॉल्ड सच जजेस एज डाइन एंड वाइन जजेस द कंसल्टेशन पेपर अगेन prepared by the national commission to review the working of constitution headed by chief justice m n venkat chalaya he also said ki the most of the judges or many of the judges they are not working efficiently for example they are uh, unduly they are delaying the judgment uh, they are not coming to the uh, to the court on time uh, also they are not performing their duty with uh, with uh, in in a more effective or efficient manner there is also an opinion that this particular this mechanism this mechanism for the removal of judges is kind of a cumbersome and unworkable and unrealistic because the procedure is too long again that is the reason uh, till now there is no judge uh, who has who has been removed by the parliament so goswami committee on judicial reform it has it has recommended for a statutory body uh, which has a representation from three wings that is parliament judiciary and executive which can further take effective action against the errant judges so thank you for watching the video